Just one passion One purpose To know you more and more When I know you I'll find me Just one passion One purpose Father we thank you right now Presence is already in the house. Your power is superior. Father, I pray today. Let every man, including me, decrease. That you alone will increase. So your presence can be felt in our lives. Father, we give you praise and all the adoration. In Jesus' name, people of God, God say what? We are looking at quickly. I'm going to give you one more point that will close. We're looking at quickly. What are the things in order to plan successfully in life? There are certain decisions that must be taken. I told you last week, you are different from the world. You plan differently because you are different somebody say amen. amen and i told you the first thing that you have to do is that you must decide to be what extra serious with god are you following me are you follow me why because i say in god lies all we need to excel regardless of time place and space it means no matter where you are today the level you are today where you are located geographically it doesn't matter once you decide to get extra serious with God you will make it in life Amen. are you following me somebody Amen. say anybody you will make it in life, you you make make it in life. life. there's nothing the devil can do to any child of God that gets serious with God. Hear me, oh child of God. The Bible says that's a season for everything. Amen. Hear me. The day you get serious with God, I'm telling you, those demons holding you will let you go by fire by fire. Amen. Are you following me? Because all we need to excel in life is in God. Amen. That's right. Are you following me? Are you following me? Amen. And I also told you, a life that's not connected to its source will eventually die or dry out. Amen. Amen. That's right. Why will you be serving the God that created the whole world and still be in sorrow? I care that you may have life and have it more abundantly. That's why, David, that's why I told you, you must be connected to your source. I told you, I said, when you are overwhelmed yes. by situations or problems, it's a sign that you are losing some connectivity. My God. Whenever you feel overwhelmed over that plan or that situation, it's a sign that you are losing some level of connectivity. I am the vine and you are the branches. Yes, amen. If you remain connected to the vine, you must be supplied. Amen. You follow me, somebody? Amen. Yes, amen. Are you there with me? Amen. Are you there with me? Amen. So, I told you that when you go all out for God, it will cause men and women to go all out for you. Yes, that's right. Amen. In order to guarantee your successful outcome, somebody say amen. Amen. So, I'm just giving you what we said last week. I told you also, don't let your earthly plans overshadow your spiritual connectivity or your reality. Do not let your earthly plans to overshadow your spiritual connectivity. It means... As you are planning 
as we're about to make that decision, make sure that God element is injected. That's right, amen. amen. Ensure it could be a relationship, business, or job, whatever it is we're about to decide on, make sure the God element is injected. Why? Because it's a true source of life. As I spoke to some of them in Barbies on Sunday. No, Thursday. People say they are in love. I'm sorry to say you. Many of you are not in love. People say I'm in love. Oh, which I'm in love. You are not in love. Because whatever is not connected to its foundation can never survive. That's right, amen. Speak to us. Yes. Whatever is not connected to its foundation, it can never so, so everything in life has a foundation. Yes. Love has a foundation. Yes. So hear me. Bible says in the book of 1 John, God is love. So whatever does not come out from God, it can never be love. Yes. It's true, yes, Bishop. How can you love somebody? That is not in God. Hmm. How can you? The simple definition of love is in the word of God. Yes, God it. is love. Oh, Therefore, whatever is not connected, whatever is not coming out from God, whatever is not originating from God, it cannot be love. Amen. It's something that's called lust. That's right. To us, man of God. That's right, Bishop. Amen. Yes. There's a difference between love and lust. lust. Come Amen. On. Yes. Come on. Love gives, lust takes. Yes. Ah, for God so loved the world, and what He gave. So hear me, church. I'm happy to understand this. Whatever is not connected to its foundation, we fall. That's right. That's right. Are you following me? Amen. Are you following me? Amen. So I'm happy to understand here that do not allow your earthly plans to overshadow your spiritual connectivity. So you must inject the God element in that thing. In that relationship, God must be injected. Amen. Amen. The first thing you say, you are deciding to get married. The first thing is, is this person connected to God. Yes. Speak, Bishop. Yes. Amen. That's how to inject the God element. Amen. This business I'm about to engage in, how does it bring glory to God? Amen. They're quiet now. Can we teach a little bit? Teach us, teach us, man of God. God element must be injected in that field, otherwise it will collapse. That's right. Yes. yes. You are different from the world system. First of all, as a child of God, you must confirm from God. This is David was a smart guy. David went through all kinds of atrocities in, in his life. But yet, the Bible says David was a man after God's own heart. Uh, why? Because David was smart. David knew exactly how to consult God in every situation. Yes. He put God first. Amen. That's right. Even though he messed up, he put God first. first. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Where is God in your life? Where is God in your life? Are you following me? Yes. So the first thing is that you have to decide to be extra serious with God. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going, I'm going to give you one more. Apart from deciding to be extra serious with God, the next thing you must do, you must decide to be transformed and not to be conformed. That's right. Amen. You must decide to be transformed and not to be conformed. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. That's to say, let your decisions 
be transformational and not just confirmational. Amen. Amen. Or say clearly. In order to make the decision, you must decide to be transformed and not, not to be conformed. So it means all your decisions must be transformational and not just confirmational. Amen. Amen. Let me, let me help you break it down. Can I help you break it down? Yes. Ah. This is the problem we have today with a lot of leadership in third world countries. That's why we're going nowhere as developing countries. Our policies, our decisions are not transformational. They are just confirmational. Can I go a little bit further? Yes, please. Again, I'm telling you. What I mean when I say the biggest problem today is in our leadership. Most proposed projects and plans are only reactional and not projectional. Mm. Wow. Yes, Bishop. Want to help you? Because you will help you. Can I help you? Yes. But if you are, you are doing business today, your business is only reactional, but there's no projection. No, that's true, Bishop. Leadership today is only reactional. You would be the react of things as they come. But they don't project to see. My God. As a child of God, I want to hear me. Child. God has given you wisdom and the ability by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whenever you, des you decide to enter into an agreement with the Holy Ghost, He gives you revelation. Amen. That's right. Yes. Amen. Are you following me? Yes. Are you following me? So, most times, the projects we see in our lives, our countries, is only reactional and not projectional. What am I saying? When plans are reactional, it merely conforms to the status quo. Yes. But yes. when projects and plans are projectional, they become transformational and, tra and transformative in nature. Amen. Amen. What you need today to succeed above your enemies yes. is to be transformed. Yes. Mm. Let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse one, number 1. Romans 12, verse 1. I will, I will deal with this more by next week. Just, I want to close right now. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to God this is your true and proper worship what, what is Paul saying here Paul is urging us Paul is speaking to the church he's telling them that there's a level that they must come into hear me now. Oh, hear me in order for you to make a plan that is subject to a heavenly approval, we must enter into a true and proper worship of God. How do you do that? By sanctifying and sanitizing our bodies. Yes, amen. How do you do that? Amen. By sanctifying and sanctifying our bodies. Yes. You sanctify, you sanitize. When COVID came, when COVID came, everybody, want to touch something? Oh, wait. You are sanity, you are sanitizing your hands yes. in case of only germs. And also, yes. in order to make a, a proper and informed decision, you have to sanctify. When God wants to do a new thing with Israel, He will tell them tomorrow morning. But tomorrow morning, sanctify yourself, for God will do a new thing. Amen. 
Are you following me? So it's very important I, I, I don't understand that. That God is saying to us today to make a plan that is subject to the heavenly approval, we must enter a true and proper worship of God by sanctifying and sanitizing our bodies and by extension our minds. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. Are you following me? Verse 2 is the key word now. Verse 2 of that Romans 12. Look at it. Do not confirm to the pattern of this world. By what? By what? I read, man. Come on, read. But what? Be transformed. Be transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and Perfect with someone say, I hear you. I hear you. That word, renewing, to conform. Say, do not conform. It means do not take exactly what you are, what you see others do. All right, amen. There's a clear difference here. Amen. Paul said, there's a clear difference here. Yes. If you want to succeed in life as a child of God, you must not conform. Hello? Hi. It means to change in form, yes. in appearance, or structure. In other words, to metamorphosize, to change in condition, yes. nature, or character, Amen. to convert, Amen. to change into another substance. Amen. To be transformed by the renew of your mind. Transformation has to do with renewal. What is it you are bringing new on the table? Come on, Bishop. We have so much things in common, but what is new that you are bringing on the table? Yes, amen. Are you following me, sir? Are you following me? Observe, it did not say, it did not say to be transferred. It said, but to be transformed. Because you can transfer from one location to another location. And still don't be transformed. That's right. That's true. You can move your business from point A to point B, and the business will still remain the same way. Yes. Your business can only change by way of transformation. transformation. I want to show you something here. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. It means breaking away from the thinking pattern. That comes with the system of this world. The world has a way of thinking. But as a child of God, when you come on the stream, God says you have to think differently. Amen. Amen. Behave differently. Yes. Amen. What are you bringing on the table differently? Yes. I will show you something by next week. People respond to value. Some of you don't hear what they say. Amen. Yes. People respond to what? Value. Value. So, calling back here, don't be conformed, but be transformed. When you hear the word transform, it takes you straight to the era of when you look at some of you that study biology, when they told you about the various stages of the butterfly. The stages it moves from the egg to the lava to the pupa and then to the butterfly stage. Different stages where it goes. But if you observe, if you follow it carefully, how it changes, you discover that it's not just moving from stage to stage, but there's a complete change. Amen. Yes, transformation. When you see the egg. You would not know this is a, you know, a butterfly coming out here. Because it has a different, a different change entirely. And so God has spared us not to conform to what we see. Okay. When you enter an environment, you must be transformed. Amen. Amen. You must be transforming that environment. Amen. Even the house, even the business, the job, 
For you enter a job, they must see a transformation in you. Transformation, amen. Amen. Are you following me, somebody? Yes, following. So again, I want to leave it right there because I will deal with that more by next week. When you take example, like I said, the butterfly from the egg, it, it goes into the caterpillar stage. Metamorphosis. I, 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 you ask yourself, when you see the caterpillar, it don't look like no butterfly at all. Hello? Yes. When you see the lava, you don't look at the pupa at all. When you see the boss from pupa to butterfly, you don't even know how come this, this, this thing that looks so ugly. Right. If you have seen it, it looks very ugly. Yes. yes. Very ugly stuff. Kadaba, I don't have time to preach that. Very ugly stuff. All of a sudden, it comes with, with bright colors. May I submit to you? Hear me, oh child of God. There's something in you that some of you don't know. That you, the day you decide to tell yourself, I refuse to conform, but I want to be transformed. That's a beauty in you. I will come on. I will launch you into a higher dimension. Shall yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You must decide to be exceptionally valuable. <laughs> and finally, you must decide. To be spiritually empowered. Are you with those two by next week? You want this to be exceptionally valuable. Exceptionally valuable. As I said you're just now, people pay for value together by next week. Oh, Bishop, I might not move it. No, no, no. What is it that is different from what you are doing than what your neighbor over there is doing? church to other churches. Hey, you must decide it's a conscious thing to be exceptionally valuable. You must decide to be empowered. By next week, we shall be empowered by next week. Amen? Lift your hands. leaders the professional leaders but I help us oh God to move to the place you want us to be Holy Ghost we thank you Father I find me oh, just one purpose one to know you
to know more of God. We are here to attract His, His power, His presence, and His provisions. If you are here today, just one passion, one purpose to know. Just one passion, one 